everyone, it's Milky, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that I've kind of been putting off doing all the time because I know that it'll take a bit of time to do, but finally I'm doing an updated wardrobe, wardrobe tour. Um, the last time I did one of these was more than two years ago and my wardrobe has changed quite a bit since then, so I thought that it would be fun to do a video showing the things that are in there. Um, yeah, I guess let's get started. Oh, and if you want to watch that old video, I'll link it here or here. I think it's here. Um, and so you can see that perhaps if you're interested to see how things have changed up till now. A lot of pieces are still the same, I got rid of a lot of pieces, I added a lot of pieces, and so maybe this will help you see how my style has evolved and the sorts of clothes that I have and where they're from. So I'm mostly going to be showing my kawaii clothes and also vintage and vintage inspired clothes because those are also things that I'm pretty interested in. I'm not going to show things like t-shirts or more professional work clothes or other such things like the vintage pieces will be quite minimal because there aren't many but there are a few things that I want to show off because I love them. But it will be mostly um, kawaii, J fashion type stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, with that let's get started. Here we are at the entrance to my wardrobe. I did a more thorough like let's go through and look at the layout of my wardrobe tour in the first video that I did two years ago and that hasn't changed much. So I'm just gonna get right into the actual clothes. Forgive the big floof of petticoat. I keep it hung up here on the wall and it's just kind of going to be in the way. Um, I have like sweaters and t-shirts, not t-shirts, sweaters and blouses and tops and that sort of thing hanging on this wall and then on the back wall, can you see, yeah, I have dresses and skirts. So I'm going to start with tops, blouses, that sort of thing, and let's go. First up I have my cherished Lazy Oaf College cardigan. I always get questions where this is from. I always tag it in my photos, so it's from Lazy Oaf, um, but yeah, it has a bear on it. I love the like blue stripe on the sleeve, and then on the back it says Lazy. It looks like it says Larry, but it says Lazy, and it's really cute and comfy, and I still love it just as much as I did when I first got it. Next is my pastel rainbow sweater from Unif, also a staple piece in my wardrobe, and it's adorable and soft, and I love it. Next up we have this pale pink chiffon-like blouse from the brand Honey Cinnamon. I really like this blouse a lot. It's hard for me to find blouses that I like, because I never like how they look when they're tucked into skirts and that sort of thing, but this is kind of the exception. I really love this blouse. It's beautiful. It has a kind of vintage feel to it, because I know the lace is quite small and the color is a bit muted, but it's really nice and... Yeah, like roughly sleeve details. So this is a blouse that can be used for both like more simple and more complex outfits and I think that it's really versatile. Next up is this Little Twin Stars collaboration cardigan with Nile Perch. Still one of my most cherished pieces. I just think it's beautiful and it's nice and soft and like the star buttons are the cutest detail ever. So I love this one. Next is this pale yellow sweater from Unzi or UV Me, one of those places. I think it's UV Me. Um, I just thought it was really cute. It has a like wide neckline, which looks really adorable, and then the pink details are really cute with the yellow. I think pink and yellow is a really cute and sort of happy color combination, so I like this one a lot, even though the pom-poms kind of get in the way sometimes when I'm wearing like this underneath dresses or that sort of thing, but it's okay. It's cute. Next I have this sweater that was sent to me by the Indie Shop Dreamily Apparel. They have really cute things, and this being one of them. I just love that the design was adorable because it's a cute girl surrounded by cute things, and it's nice. It's a sort of more cropped fit, it's really soft inside, it has ties at the side, which I think are a cute touch. And now I have this purple and white striped sweater from Ulu Box. Another cute sweater. I have probably too many sweaters for someone living in Florida. <laughs> it's not buttoned, but I have this Anc Rouge cardigan. I really love this. It's this lovely periwinkle blue color, which I think is really pretty. It has um, fake pearl buttons. You can wear it either like this way at the front or this way at the front, and I like switching it up sometimes and wearing both of them based on my mood. I really like this cardigan, and I have it in all three colors that it came in. <laughs> Next, I have this set from Himi Fashion. Um, the, you see the blouse here, but like there are also shorts in here that I'm not going to show because they're just like bloomers. But I thought this set was really cute, even though it says like how to get boys to like you, which I don't really care about. But I just think the design is quite adorable and sort of vintagey and cute. I next have this angel top from Ulu Box. It's sheer at the back and has like a sort of 
thicker panel at the front. I really like cropped shirts like this because I think that they go really well with skirts. You don't have to worry about um, tucking things in and then things getting untucked, so it's really convenient if you wear a lot of skirts to wear more cropped blouses. Next up is this blue sort of college style sweater from Devil Inspired. I would wear this to work when things were a bit cooler. Another lovely cropped top type piece is this camisole from, it's either pronounced Fint or fi.n.t. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to call it Fint because that's easier. Um, it's just really lovely. I like wearing this a lot with skirts. It sort of ends like at the natural waist and then this bit flares out a little bit and it's just really cute and really pretty and I like it. Here's a top which I recently made using Strawberry Sky Design's um, Patreon tutorial. You should check her out if you get the chance because she has really lovely designs and she recently started a Patreon where she has patterns and this is the first thing that I tried making from there. Um, I just think it's cute in summary. Like these long straps at the back you can tie into a bow so it looks really lovely and it's a cute detail at the back. Another cropped style top that I have is this off-brand white top, I guess. I don't know. It closes with eyelets at the front and it has lace detailing here and it's great for days that are super hot here because I can just wear the with skirts and still feel cute and not be dying of heat. <laughs> here is a Lazy Elf piece that I wanted for ages. It has this like blue sort of carpety material on here that has this cute bear that's a sort of vintage look. It says nobody loves me and it has like pink ruffles and blue details here and it's really cute. And I need to find more things to wear it with because I love it but I never know what to pair it with other than just white or a pink tennis skirt, so I need to think of something for this. Now we have this really big collared blouse from Pastel Love Star, another nice blouse. Um, it's a bit more sort of flashy than other collared blouses that I have because the collar is so big, but I think it's a really cute statement look, like under cardigans or things like that, so it's adorable. It also has some lace on the sleeves. Here is another Lazy Elf piece that I got when I was in London. I think it's really lovely. I like gingham things and the fact that this has sort of like heart buckles and a heart on here is absolutely adorable, so I really like this piece. Here is another top from Devil Inspired, just this sort of nice muted mint color. It has a sort of vintage feel to it, which I think is nice, and I like the unique style of the tying of the bow on the front. Here's a cute sweater from Pastel Love Store that I mostly like wearing around the house. It has a cute like nurse on it and it says lovely clothes in me, become lovely, become fond of me, which is kind of peculiar, but I think it's cute and it's really cozy and I like wearing it a lot. I think the white and red details look nice together. Here's a simple Liz Lisa cardigan that I like wearing a lot. Um, it's just really easy to throw onto outfits when I'm feeling a bit chilly and stuff. Just a sort of um, wide crochet or knit <laughs> type fabric um, with these sort of like loose sleeves. I don't know what they're called. Maybe it's Batwing? I'll call it a Batwing cardigan. And it just has like a ribbon at the back, so it's pretty simple, but it's versatile and so I like it a lot. Here's a lovely collared blouse from the brand Amavel, which says delicious. oh gosh, delicious chalk that I'm not gonna try to pronounce the French, but it's just a lovely blouse with fluffy sleeves that used to have elastic and now the elastic is gone, but oh well, it's a cute blouse anyways. Here is a lovely cream-colored cutso from Anc Rouge. I really like the lace detailing here as well as the scalloped edges. It's a really cute and super comfy piece, so I wear it when I'm going out and want to look cute but still be casual and very comfy. Here is the periwinkle card Anc Rouge cardigan from before, but in ivory. Also lovely. Here I have another blouse that I adore, and that's my Madoka Magica Liz Lisa collaboration blouse. I really love this. It has a very nice lightweight feel to the fabric. So it's very comfy, it has a soul gem on the collar, which I think is really cute, and I like this blouse a lot. It's one of the more reached for ones in my wardrobe. Next I have this off-white and pink college style cardigan from Himi Fashion. I think it's really cute. I love the little bunny embroidery over here, and the pink and cream colors go really well together for a sort of sweet and soft look. So, this one. Here is a pink and ivory sweater vest from Ulu Box with a cute little peach embroidered on it. Yep, yeah, it's cute. I want to try incorporating this more into outfits because I think sweater vests are really cute. Here is a really lovely blouse that I got from Nordstrom Rack. The brand is Socialite. I hadn't heard of it before. But it has a cropped fit, which I adore, of course, and this really pretty um, polka dotty fabric with like big puffy sleeves and the 
ruched detailing here it really makes me think of princesses so this is really lovely to wear with skirts or under JSKs and stuff so very nice and it's also lightweight which is great given the Floridian weather. Now we have a Liz Lisa sweater which is another one of my favorite sweaters. Um, it's just really nice and soft and fluffy this sort of muted light pink color kind of. Um, it has cold shoulder details, a really big fluffy collar, nice goofy sleeves with like lace-up details. I really like this a lot and it's super soft. Next up is a Liz Lisa camisole with cute little pom-pom details. Just a nice simple piece. It's great for layering under cardigans because then you can like make the pom-pom ribbons um, stay like outside of the cardigan and that is a really cute detail. Now is a dusty pink Liz Lisa cardigan. I really like the design of this and I actually have it in another color as well. But I think it's cute and has a sort of very vintage feel to it because of the sheer lace panel on here which I think is really beautiful. A simpler piece but it is from a Japanese brand so I thought I'd show it is this um, Batwing sweater from Earth Music and Ecology. This is really comfy. I wear it to work and stuff so I like it. This is a more Mori Girl type piece. Uh, it, I got it off of Taobao. It's just really adorable with the lace details and it's super comfy and nice too, so it's adorable. I always kind of wanted to wear Mori Girl, but I've never been able to fully get into it. So unfortunately, I don't know if it's something that I'll ever do, but I have this sweater. Okay. Next up is this cape type sweater from Earth Music and Ecology. This is from a collaboration with the anime Nagi no Asakura, which is one of my favorite animes, and so this piece is quite special, and it's really lovely. I never really know what to wear it with, but I'll figure it out, and I think it's very pretty. Next up is this yellow blouse from Devil Inspired. I think it's quite cute, and I tend to wear it to work, because I usually wear more things to work. I then have a red version of the Angrish um, Katsa that I showed recently. Um, again, really cute, really comfy, and I like the red on red detailing. I then have this dark red cardigan from Wonder Rocket, which is one of my favorite Japanese brands, which unfortunately doesn't exist anymore, but it's really cute and you can find it in second hand. So um, yeah, the sleeves on this are nice, it's a cute um, knitted material with lace panels, really adorable and simple and versatile. Next up is the dark red Liz Lisa cardigan, um, like the dusty pink one I showed earlier. I really love this one and I think I like this one more than the pink one, it just has a very beautiful classic vintage look, which I think is really pretty. Next up is this sailor style um, top from Devil Inspired. It has Snow White embroidered on here, which I think is cute, and it has a very sweet magical girl feel to it, and it is very adorable. I also have the Wonder Rocket cardigan in dark blue. I got this one initially actually and I really like it. It's very soft and very nice and cozy. I then have this really cute oversized Moomin cardigan from Truffle Shuffle. I think that's the name of the shop, but um, yeah, it's really cute, it's really cozy. And I can't wait until it cools down a bit so I can start wearing this more because even though it's kind of Christmassy, I love it. <laughs> now I have the Anc Rouge Pearl Button cardigan, but in black. And then to finish off with the tops section is this um, cape from Devil Inspired. It's fluffy inside, it's really cute, it's super wintery. Um, it has ears on it, which is cute, but this is really great when it's chilly and I can just bundle up in it and be warm. And now to move on to dresses. First I have this dark plaid dress from the brand Secret Honey. I really like the ribbon detailings on this, and in general it's a really cute piece. A more vintage style piece. This is from the brand Gal Meets Glam. They have a lot of really lovely vintage type designs. Um, this is just really pretty. It, I really like the bows on the sleeves and it's just very long and kind of wrapped up in its own waist belt, but you get the general idea. And then we have an older Liz Lisa piece. I really like this. It reminds me a lot of sort of the older Liz Lisa days and it's just lovely. The soft, slick material. It's a bit short, but it's really cozy and cute. One of my favorite Liz Lisa prints is this ballet print, and I wanted this OP for a really long time and was happy when I finally found it. I think it has a really cute and um, feminine and romantic feeling to it, so I quite like this. And the contrast of the cream colored fabric with the red is really pretty. Another Liz Lisa piece is this sort of more simple one piece with a lace panel here and dark red plaid. Uh, it also has a lace detail at the bottom, which I think looks cute. and. A more simple and toned down Liz Lisa piece, but I think it's perfect for autumn and such. Another piece from Wonder Rocket is this dress, which I really adore and endearingly call my like, crop 
um, couch dress because it kind of is like an old-fashioned couch but it's made of a like thick tapestry like material and it looks really nice with the dark red details and it has lace on the bottom I really love this dress it's very wintry and I'll put I don't think I'll ever part with it because it's really pretty Next up is this jumper skirt from the indie brand Peppermint Fox. It has mushrooms on it and I love it very much. I've wanted a Peppermint Fox piece for a really long time and then when they released this mushroom collection I knew that I couldn't resist because I love mushrooms very much. I think they're very cute. And so I really like this dress. It has very sort of nice earthy natural tones. I have two other mushroom dresses that you'll see so I have a nice variety of mushroom dresses but I like this one. It's quite long so it has a very elegant feel to it. Now is this plaid skirt from the brand Evelyn. I thought this was a really pretty plaid and it kind of reminds me of the Burberry plaid. So I think it looks very lovely. It's a sort of more toned down, elegant type of piece. I think it's cute. And it has a bow at the back. Next is this one piece from Anc Rouge. Uh, it has a really cute sort of collar and cutout situation going on here, which I thought was nice. And in general, I think the plaid, brown plaid is quite pretty. This came also with a belt that kind of looks like a garter belt, which I thought was really cute. So I like wearing it together with that. I also like wearing that belt separately. You can also tuck the collar in so that it's just like the square neckline. And so it's a pretty versatile piece that I really like. Here is a very old Liz Lisa piece, but it's cozy and I like wearing it around the house. Just a sort of um, brown, ivory, and pink plaid dress. It's made of a soft, not quite flannel, but that kind of knit-ish material. And yeah, it's a bit worse for wear at this point. I'm like <laughs> The lace layer has kind of stretched out a bit, but it's cozy and soft and it's nice. Next is this cute pink plaid dress that I recently got from a Libby store. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, it has a really cute strawberry detail on here, although it says peach, but it has seeds, so I kind of think that it's more of a strawberry. Uh, yeah, it's really cute and comfy, and I actually really like wearing this around the house. I like that there are more embroidered fruits, whatever this fruit is, on the back of the collar. Next up is this very dolly style kind of vintage dress from Pastel Love Store. Um, this reminds me a lot of the dress that Melanie wears in the beginning of the K-12 film, like when she's um, in her house and getting ready and stuff, so check that out and you will see what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's just really lovely and cute and I love the tulle overlay, it makes it look very soft and feminine. Another vintage style dress from Gal Meets Glam is this um, pastel gingham dress. Uh, it has really cute puff sleeves and button details all down the front, again a longer piece. I think this has a really cute sort of summery vintage feel, like sitting in a cottage and picking flowers aesthetic to it, so it's cute. Here's another cozy versatile piece, um, it's this jumper skirt overall type dress from Pastel Love Store with bunnies embroidered on it and it's a pink corduroy material and there are bunnies on the pockets and it's the sweetest thing, like I wore this around the house a ton because it's just comfy and cute and that's what I like. Now is a pink plaid skirt from Olivi Store, another really versatile piece. Can't have too many plaid skirts. Here is a dress that I made not too long ago out of a pair of old curtains. Um, I think it's really cute and it has a sort of cottage, cute, vintage feel to it. I love how the sleeves and in general like the bodice turned out and the pockets are hearts. So it's cute and feminine and I happy that I made it. Here I have two skirts on one hanger because I'm saving on hangers, but I have this pink and blue plaid skirt from Anc Rouge which I really like and wear a lot, as well as this um, longer pink skirt from Evelyn. It's just a lovely dusty pink color that is a bit more mature and refined. Now we have this really cute strawberry one piece from Anc Rouge. I wanted this piece for a while and I was really happy when I could finally get my hands on it. Um, I really like the lace detailing everywhere and the strawberry and rose print is really pretty. It's a more sort of muted dusty pink, but I think it's really cute. Next up is this Liz Lisa angel print um, JSK. I really love this. It has a sort of sweet femininity to it that a lot of older Liz Lisa pieces have. And so I really like this. Although um, the cut of this makes it a bit tricky to wear because you need blouses they don't have too much going on here but have a bit going on so I sometimes struggle thinking of what to wear it with but on the whole I think it's really cute. Next is one of my favorite Liz Lisa pieces and that's the Madoka collaboration dress. I used to have also the skirt version of this but I think I prefer the dress because I kind of sometimes find it hard to figure out what to wear with skirts and I love it. It's beautiful and I mean anything Madoka magic themed has a place in my heart. 
another gal meets glam dress. This one is really quite glamorous. It's this pink um, polka dotty chiffon material. It's super long, but this dress is beautiful and it's one of my favorite pieces and whenever I wear it, I feel like a princess and I love it. Next is this tulle and flower embroidery skirt from Milfil Closet by Loris Bodo. They have such beautiful designs and I really want to have more from them because they're both sort of refined and feminine and just really, really pretty. And I really like this one. It's very fairy-like and sweet and I love it. Now we have an actual vintage piece. I think this one is from the 50s. Forgive the unbuttonedness, but it's this lovely pale pink color with ruffle details going down the front and a very cute full skirt. Um, this piece is very lovely. I like vintage dresses and big skirts. This is my first ever Liz Lisa piece and it's still very cute. I mostly wear it in casual situations now because, yeah, <laughs> but it's just really sweet. And I like the color details and just in general the pink and cream combination is very sweet. Next is this vintage dress that I got shortly after I moved here. Um, it just has really pretty um, lace detailing on here. Yeah, it's a lovely sort of cotton and silk blend, so it's super comfy for the summer and I need to wear this more. I don't know why I don't. Next is this cute yellow skirt, which I was inspired when I saw Dolly Lulu on Instagram wearing it because she's adorable and her outfits are adorable. And so I saw this and I wanted to have it and then it was on sale, um, so I bought it. I don't know if I said the brand is Rope Picnic. Another piece that I wear often to work just because it's easy and comfy, but it's pretty. Here is a vintage set that my boyfriend got me, actually, um, sure, not shortly, but like a couple of months after we started dating. It's this um, two-piece set of a capelet and then a dress that has lace straps and it's also long and super floofy. This is from the 50s and it's really beautiful and I definitely need to wear this more because it's absolutely lovely and it's sweet that he got it for me and so it's special to me because of that. Next is this really adorable pastry dress from Lurgetter. I always struggle with these French brands, but anyways, it's really cute and I wanted a piece for a while from them and so when this popped up for a decent price, I went for it. It's a really cute, um, soft and comfy material, so it's really nice and I just think it's really cute for more sort of toned down but still cute looks. Here is another mushroom dress. Um, this is from the brand Crucius on Taobao. I love mushroom printed things and so this is absolutely adorable. Another thing that I really like in clothes is constellations and stars, and so as such this Liz Lisa constellation starry dress is another one of my favorites. Um, and it has like really cute star lace at the bottom. I like wearing this with glasses underneath to give a sort of bit more variety to the looks that I wear with it. Here's another one of my favorite Liz Lisa pieces. I really like their more sort of simple designs, but also sweet and feminine. I really like the embroidery that's on the collar and it's just really sort of floofy and adorable. Yet another Liz Lisa piece is this romper with lilies. I re I fell in love with this piece because of the sleeves, they're just really pretty. It has this sort of sheer layer underneath and then this printed layer on top and lacing on the sleeves and so it's really cute in summary. Another vintage style piece that I really like is this lacy dress from Anthropology. I really like all the different types of lace on this and so it's really nice to wear during holidays and such. This is a vintage nightgown that I got years ago on Depop. Maybe it's a bit silly to show a nightgown, but I really love this. And it's super comfy and soft and adorable, and I really love it. Just a simple pleated tennis skirt from American Apparel. A really, really versatile piece. Like, if you're into J fashion, I really suggest you get some pleated skirts, because they make really cute looks pretty quickly. But this constellation skirt is from the brand Milk. It was one of my first, like, actual name, name brand Japanese pieces, and so it holds a special place in my heart, and it's really adorable. Next we have this Liz Lisa skirt. I think that the blue and pink details on it are really sweet, and it has lacing at the sides, and so it's just very adorable and comfy and casual and very easy to wear. Here's a Liz Lisa dress that was a dream piece of mine for quite a while. It's the chandelier print from maybe 2015 or earlier than that even, and I just think the, the blue is really pretty and elegant. I have a lot of pink in my wardrobe, but I think blue is also a very nice and refreshing color. Here's another dress that was recently sent to me by Alibi. I really like this one. It has a very vintage, summery feel to it with the sailor collar on it, and you know, the skirt is really nice and long and full, and it's made of a cotton material, so it's great for summer because it's breathable, and I really like this one. Another comfy Liz Lisa piece is this grey plaid dress, another one that I just mostly wear around the house because it's a sort of thick flannel material, so it's not really great for the weather here, but it's just really cute and soft and lovely. 
Here's another tennis skirt, um, this one is from Bell Inspired. I think that the cream and blue and brown looks really cute, and it has milk embroidered on a little patch on here, which I think is a cute detail. More vintage sleepwear, but I got this really pretty peignoir and nightgown set. I think it's from the 60s, and I think it's just really pretty. I love the lace details and the sleeves, and it's just very cute. Here's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, and that's this Kira Imai cloud dress. She's a designer who does a lot of work for Angelic Pretty, and um, in general she has really pretty art and prints and stuff like that. And, but when I saw that she came out with this dress, I knew that I had to have it because it has clouds and like angel cats, and it's just really cute. It's a longer length, and so it um, allows me to dress cutely, but still kind of be a bit more refined and elegant, almost. And then the last of my mushroom dresses is this one from the Taobao brand Istamori, I think. I wanted this piece for so long and it was so hard to find, but I finally found it and I was really happy. I really like the blue and red mixed together, and then on the bottom it has moths and mushrooms, which I think is really pretty, and I absolutely adore this dress. It's so beautiful and yeah, it's one of my favorites. Here is one of my most cherished pieces in my wardrobe, and that's this periwinkle blue dress from the 50s. I got this ages ago, and it's absolutely beautiful. I think the color is really beautiful, and just the fit is gorgeous, the skirt is really full. It has some slight sort of embroidery here, if you can see the flowers, and it's just really flattering and really, really beautiful, and I adore it. Next up is a Valida skirt from the brand um, BTSSB, or maybe the stars shine bright. This was another dream piece of mine for quite some time, and so I'm just super happy to have it in my wardrobe. It has a really beautiful um, constellation print with the like um, constellations drawn out super cutely, and I really, really love this. This is yet another piece that I spent quite some time searching for. It's the Grimoire Constellation One Piece. Grimoire is a shop in Japan that doesn't really make their own clothes much anymore. They mostly have a lot of vintage items, but um, they did release some of their own clothing. This being one of them. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the skirt has stars on it, and then like at the bottom a landscape. I wore this on my birthday this year because I really love it, and I'm just super happy with this piece. And then my only other Lolita piece at the moment is this beautiful dark blue. JSK from the Taobao brand Chess Story. I wore this to my junior year prom and I felt like the prettiest thing ever because it's really beautiful. It has like star glitter which is really nice and it's just super twinkly and beautiful and princessy and it's just such a gorgeous and extravagant piece. Um, I actually have two of my Dream Lolita pieces coming in soon so maybe I'll make a video on that because I'm really excited for them. Lolita is a style that kind of got me into J fashion and I absolutely love it and I do want to wear it more but I never really have occasions to do so but I'm hoping that I can slowly expand my Lolita wardrobe again because I used to wear it a lot and now not so much but I think it's still very much a style that holds, holds a super special place in my heart. A more sort of vintage style piece, kind of, is this dress from Anthropology. I just really like the lace details and the sort of steely blue-gray color. I think it's very nice and it's great for autumn. Here is a jumper skirt, um, pinafore type thing that I recently got from Devil Inspired. It's a really pretty green plaid color and um, it has this top part that you can detach and then just wear the skirt as is, which I often do for work. I think it's a really nice piece and it's really versatile and yeah. This is just a simple dress from Earth Music and Ecology, but I like the gingham pattern and the collar on it, so I usually just wear this for work, but it's just cute and really versatile. Here's a more toned down piece, but it's still a cute one. I got it from Unzi. I really like the heart cutout on here. I've seen pieces like this online for quite some time, and I wanted it, and then when I saw that they had a similar design, I went for it. And it's just really cute and wearable. Now not so much, given that it's so warm out, but I do wear this a lot when it's a bit cooler out. Here is a sort of school style dress from, I think, you Um It's just black and red with round colors that I really wear very often, but I think that it's super cute. And on the back it has bells, so it's kind of Christmassy, but I don't know. People say that it reminds them of Hogwarts and like Gryffindor, so I'll think of it that way and not just like holidays. <laughs> And then to finish it off, a vintage piece. This beautiful black velvet skirt is from the 40s. I got it not too long ago. Actually, a bit long ago, maybe like a year at this point. But I think that it's just really beautiful. I love black velvet and velvet in general. And so this feels very luxurious. And it has these sort of red details, which are kind of falling apart in bits, which is a bit sad. But um, it's a lovely piece, and I need to find more occasions to wear it. It goes right under the bust, so it's sometimes challenging thinking of like what tops to wear with it. but. I do want to try wearing it more because it's just really beautiful. Finally, that's it. I'm not going to show my shoes and bags in this video because I'm tired of filming and I think that would make this super long, so I might show them in another video if you're interested in seeing my shoe and bag collection.
So I guess to do a quick debriefing, now that we're done with that large chore, thank you for sitting through that if you did. Um, I guess I just wanted to comment on some differences that I noticed between my wardrobe as it is currently and how it was before. Um, I used to have a lot more sort of Himekaji, Liz Lisa things, and now I have a lot less of them. I have still a substantial amount of Liz Lisa, but I've sort of deviated away from the florals that I really liked before, and in general the more sort of soft cottagecore Liz Lisa type pieces. I have a lot more pastel aesthetic, if you could call it that, clothes now, because I don't know, I like the sort of bright pastel colors and they do well on my feed and I mostly put them a lot on my Instagram. So there's also that. I have less larm clothing because it's a style that I used to really like but I sort of, I don't know, fell out of my enthusiasm for it and so I got rid of most of the things that were in that sort of style. But overall I'm pretty happy with my wardrobe as it is, so I hope you found this video interesting. Um, yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!